Now in direct mapping, if you observe how the physical address is divided, um, we could observe this point. So physical address is actually divided like this. One is block offset, right? And other is block number. And now uh, let us say this block number is um, this block number consists of small m bits. Then what can you say about the number of blocks? The number of blocks equal to 2 power m, right? And then the least significant uh, some bits, let us say l bits are used to represent the line number, line number in the cache, isn't it? Therefore, what can you say about the number of lines? Number of lines equal to 2 power l, isn't it? Now, now if you observe it, uh, we have a m bit number which is a block number right every block is represented as m bit number i'm talking about the block number not the address right so only this part every block is represented as an m bit number now in this m bit number right i'm taking the least significant l bits right and this least significant l bits is giving me the uh, you know uh, block number this uh, line number right then what we could say is if this m bits is representing some number x right and this uh, then the least significant l bits is nothing but the remainder okay if you remember that uh, you know computer networks also i discussed about it and toc also I discussed about it so whenever we divide any m bit number with 2 power l then the remainder is nothing but the least significant l bits isn't it so whenever you divide any m bit number with the 2 power l then the least significant bits least significant l bits are nothing but the remainder right so if x is the block number right and if the number of lines is 2 power l then the line number in which this block will be present is x mod 2 power l which means you take the uh, you know number block this uh, main memory block number and then you divide it with 2 power l and whatever remainder you get that is nothing but the line number right therefore from now on in order to find out where a block is present you can directly find out the modulus for example if i say the number of blocks i have is 4 right and uh, you know where are you going to place the 100th uh, 100th uh, main memory block then how can you find out take 100 and take 100 mod 4 right then what do you get 0 right it means that uh, this uh, 100th block will be present in the 0th line of the cache so what does it mean so simply put if you give me any x block so x block of main memory where is it present in caches you have to take x mod 2 power l where 2 power l is the number of blocks right number of number of lines in the cache so this one will give you the line number in which line number in which you could probably place this x or if you know if it is present in the cache it will be present in this line number that is how you could split it i hope you are getting it what i am trying to say is whenever any main you know main memory block number is given you try to find out the remainder when divided with the number of block number of lines in the cache and then that is that remainder is going to be the line number in which the required uh, block is present okay fine so then answer this question let us say the block requests i'm talking about the block references i'm not talking about the addresses so let us assume that there is a cache whose size is four four lines which means i'm talking about this let us assume that i have only four lines in the cache so zero line one line two line three so zero one two three are the lines present in the cache and then i have lots of uh, you know uh, blocks in the main memory okay now what I, what is that i am trying to do is i'll try to generate all the block requests which means the cpu is generating the block requests these are the block numbers of the main memory then i have to find i have to say uh, according to the direct mapping where will they be present so let us say the cpu is generating the block request like this 5 6 4 8 9 12 
something like this 15 20 if these are the block requests okay and this is the uh, you know um, uh, lines in the cache then where are you going to place them and uh, what uh, what is the miss rate which means how many are going to be missed and how many are going to be hit so initially five where are you going to place five so how do you find it take the block number and then you divide it with the required uh, you know the size of the uh, this number of lines in the cache then you are going to get the line number in which you have to place it now 5 mod 4 is 1 therefore 5 will be present here right and 6 mod uh, 4 is 2 therefore 6 will be kept here and what about 4 4 mod 4 is 0 which means 4 will be here what about 8 8 mod uh, 4 is actually you know uh, conflict with this why 8 mod 4 is 0 and already something is present in 0 therefore it is going to be replaced and 8 is going to be kept there right now 8 is present in 0 right and now 9 9 mod 4 so 9 mod 4 is 1 so it has to be placed here right 9 and 12 12 mod 4 is 0 therefore 0 so are you observing it so even though I have an empty space, I am still replacing this, isn't it? This space is not at used till now. Are observing it? So this is called as, this problem is called as conflict miss. The actual reason is not the you know, non-availability of space. I have a free slot, I have a free line. I could have used it, but then direct mapping says that even though you have a available free space, you are always supposed to map to only one location because of that point, you know, the, that is the disadvantage of this direct mapping. Okay. Now, uh, what about 15? Where are you going? Okay. What about 12? 12 has to be placed here itself, right? And what about 15? So 15 has to be placed in 3. What about 20? 20 has to be placed in 0. Got it? So now, uh, if you observe it, uh, we, even though we have got uh, plenty of space available here for a long time, only this one was highly used, heavily used, isn't it? I'll tell you a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario inputs will be like this. Let us say I have uh, four, uh, yeah, four lines, zero line, one line, two line, three line. And let us say we have uh, the uh, blocks like this, the block main memory block requests are like this. So 4, 8 and again 12, again 16. I, I hope that you understood why I am writing these numbers, right? Huh. Now where will this one go? 4 mod 4 is 0, which means 4 will go, get in here. 8 mod 4 is 0, which means 8 will get in here. Even though we have plenty of space available, you know, it is never going to use that. Why? Because we have the restriction that every block has to be mapped to only one block. It is a many to one mapping direct mapping is many to one mapping right it makes things simple but then sometimes it complicates it if you need something like this right then what about it 12 again 12 will be kept here only right and 16 16 will be kept here only see this all these are empty vacant but still we are not using them we are just using one slot right and what about 4 again this one will be emptied what about it emptied what about this again replace it what about this replace it right worst case input isn't it so that is the disadvantage of direct mapping. Why do you think that we have come across this disadvantage? Because uh, we have restricted the main memory blocks in such a way that they are supposed to occupy only one, uh, one uh, cache line. So in order to solve this disadvantage, this is called as conflict miss. This scenario is called as conflict miss. Right? So conflict miss is different from capacity miss. So capacity misses, in case if you don't have the capacity, then if you come across a miss, that is called capacity miss. But conflict misses, even though when you have uh, lots of other space, you are not going to use that space, you are replacing a page which will be a miss later, right? And this miss is going to be C. If this 4 would have been there, it would have been useful later, right? Now this miss was because of the conflict, not because of the capacity, right? So conflict misses the disadvantage of this uh, you know direct mapping what about capacity miss in case if the entire uh, all the blocks are full all the lines are full then if you replace a page which is going to cause a miss later that is called as capacity miss we have replaced a page because we don't have the capacity to store it then that is fine at least that is that looks better isn't it now 
in order to solve this problem we will remove that restriction what is the restriction that a particular block of main memory has to get into only particular uh, line of the cache now if i remove that restriction and i say that any block in the main memory can go to any line in the cache then this is a different scenario now what happens any block in the main memory can get into any block of the cache that is called as associative mapping so we shall see about associative mapping now okay